On a sunny Sunday morning in May, a group of outdoorsy types has gathered in a pleasant park. They're here to take part in a yearly ritual, the first canoeing adventure of the springtime. Of course, there's nothing unusual about canoeing down a lively Canadian river, but this particular river is just a little bit different. This is right in the heart of urban Toronto. My name's Phil Goodwin, and I'm with the uh, Dawn River Watershed Council. We're having this event here, Paddle the Dawn, because people just love to get out on a Sunday morning and be out in the outdoors and enjoy this special event where you can paddle basically from Eglinton all the way down to the mouth of the Don River in Toronto Harbour. Now the whole idea is normally during the spring uh, the water levels really aren't high enough. So what they do is they open the dam up at Dufferin and Finch which is about four or five miles away from here and they open the dam for about three or four hours and let the water come down. And the water levels, if you see the water levels now, they're about a foot up from where they normally are. Wish us luck. Today, these urban voyagers are being joined by some keen canoeists from the Discovery Channel and EXN.ca. They're going to test their mettle and maybe their friendships against all the rough stuff that the Dawn has to offer. And that's plenty. And uh, there's a willow tree that's down, the evil black willow's down, so they got to take care of that. Yay, discovery! There's a great rock at the first corner that they got to paddle around. The whole idea is to get people to have a better understanding that rivers and the outdoors is part of an urban community. And that if we try to clean it and try to improve it, it's going to lead to a healthier and all wealthier life for ourselves. And you know what? It's just a lot of plain old fun too. <laughs> it's a nice casual paddle down the dawn. The river certainly poses its share of challenges. Enough so that it's worth a little rest just to see how the other half paddles. A portage is a perfect place to catch up with our intrepid crew to find out who they are and what this day means to them. Hey there, how's it going? I'm Paul from EPI, uh, production coordinator. Having a great day on the Don River. Spectacular weather, good company, and uh, just enjoying the day. <laughs> the paddle's taller yeah. than me. <laughs> I'm Alyssa Levy, internet producer with EXN, the website for Discovery Channel Canada. It's my first day out on the Don River. It's great, and uh, I proved that you can go down backwards and still remain fairly dry. <laughs> I'm Heather Williamson, uh, producer with the On Air Promotions Department for Discovery Channel Canada, and we're having a wonderful time today. And Alyssa and I have proved that yes, we can go down backwards, still have fun, still remain dry, still remain friends. I think. <laughs> That's right. I'm Molly Carther Donovan, the editorial assistant for At Discovery Canada. I'm also the uh, production coordinator occasionally and the resource producer occasionally. And it's nice for a girl like me from Vancouver to see all these Ontario people out enjoying the nice weather. We know what Scotia Beach to do. I'm David Newland. I'm the webisode producer at exn.ca. I'm usually behind the camera. Today I'm in front of it. I'm having a great day here on the Don River the ancestral home of my family for over a hundred years. Not the river precisely, but the area. The upper portion of the River Don looks much the way it would have looked a century ago. Inevitably though, the urban landscape looms. Here the noble river spews into a muddy, smelly channel crisscrossed with expressways. I'm 
by the time the voyageurs reached the takeout point, there's no sign of a river at all. Nevertheless, a positive mood prevails, and our determined crew puts the same energy into packing up as they did into paddling. Everyone emerges in good spirits in spite of adversity. Well, it was a great day. <laughs> and with bragging rights to boot. Are you tired? No. <laughs> I'm not tired at all. The highlight of my day had to be canoeing under a moving subway train. I don't think I've ever done that before. And I don't think very many people could say they have. And uh, the low light was canoeing into a steady hurricane for about 45 minutes at the end by myself. But otherwise, a great day. And uh, we've all had a really good time here. And hopefully brought a little bit of awareness to the Don River. Woo! And as for the Don, well, like another famous muddy river, it just keeps rolling along.